prettier in person. Am I? Yeah, you sound pretty too. Do I really? Yes, you really do, my lady. Oh, well, do I sound prettier if I'm eating a cheeseburger? Well, it, that's even hotter. Yeah. You know, of all the girls on the website, you're hands down the hottest. Is that right, Mr. America? Yeah, you're like an 18-year-old cheerleader. It's hot. <laughs> Stop. I'm serious. <laughs> Some issues with your uh, your credit cards. Hello, Mrs. Cole. Hi, Annette. Hi there. Um, did I interrupt you? Oh, it, it's just the oh. game we like to play, uh, Mail Order Bride. Yes. Yes. I okay. saw that. Okay. Here are your keys. Okay. And um, congratulations on your new apartment. Thank you. And I'll let you to get back to whatever that was. Okay. Thank you. Thanks. Oops. Uh huh. Uh, yep. <laughs> I can't wait to be there with you. Yeah, me too. I love you. I love you too. <laughs> that was fun. <laughs> yeah. You should be careful though. I'm gonna save some of that up for the baby making. Are you kidding? There's more where that came from. Oh. <laughs> right. What was that? The lamp fell. Yeah. I couldn't sleep. Someone's kids were up all freaking night. Well, he's got kids. I don't know, but when I find out, I'm gonna stab. <laughs> oh, hang on. Is that your other wife? Maybe. Hello. Yeah, hi Annette. I was just wondering who has the kids. I kept hearing this little girl running and laughing and stuff all night. Little oh, girl? I don't know anything about that. Really? Really? Maybe it's someone's TV. Look, so no one in the building has kids. I gotta run. Uh, Alright. Thanks. I could have sworn I had unpacked my recording equipment, but it's still in the box over there. And so you didn't unpack them? I don't know. Uh, maybe it's the jet lag. It's just, it's, it's been weird here. Now you're starting to worry me. Promise me you'll get some rest tonight. I'm trying. I heard that little girl again last night. She she was screaming bloody freaking murder all night long. Listen, I'm gonna call up the airport tomorrow and get an earlier flight if I can. I wanna be there with you. Yeah, that'd be good. I miss you. David, calm down. No, it's like it's like somebody keeps moving my stuff, or I'm forgetting where things are going, or I, I don't know what. Well, babe, it's going to be around somewhere. Did you get my email? No. Okay, well, I got an earlier flight, and I leave the day after tomorrow. So I'm sure I can think of something to help you get to sleep. Right. Okay? Right. Yeah.
David. What? What? I don't know. Hello, stranger. David? David. David, come on, stop messing. Forget it. I didn't call you. Well, then your computer did. Now, how is that supposed to work, Laura? Well, I don't know. Why are you being like this? Because you're accusing me of some silly prank, and then you keep calling me. Yeah, because I'm worried. I was sleeping. I haven't been able to sleep, so I was sleeping. I'm fine. Stop yelling at me. This isn't like you. I'll talk to you later. David! I'm really sorry, honey. I just, I don't know, I, I miss you. Well, my flight leaves tonight. I'll be there before you know it. I met our next door neighbor today, Mrs. Franklin. Yeah? She asked me if our place is haunted. Why? Apparently this place hasn't been rented in years, and before that, nobody stayed more than a couple months. Well, that's weird. Yeah. It gets better. She said, uh, there was a little girl named Anna who used to live here. And she died in an accident or something. She didn't know how. Oh my god. And Annette didn't know about this. It's kind of hard to rent an apartment that a little girl died in. <laughs> what is it? I hear her. What? She's in the bedroom. David! <laughs> 